Hi guys, we're here with the uh, final review video on my entry for the uh, Martin Lamont, Lamont's uh, International British Modelers 50th, 50th Anniversary Area Group Build. This is my Monogram 148 scale McDonnell Douglas AV8B Harrier. Uh, it's an old kit from I think 1983 it was or 1987. Originally tooled. Uh, so I've been around the block a few times. I back I built one back in the 80s. It was all brush painted. No filler, no nothing. That's all I had at the time was the 10 pack of testers paint and the uh, orange tube glue and a package of, of uh, testers paint brushes. That's all I had for modeling supplies. But I was happy with it then. We won't hold a candle to this one, but I might take a still picture of it and throw it in at the end of the video. The old and the new together. But anyway, it was a pretty straightforward build on this one. No real issues other than seam filling and that's standard practice with an older kit like this. Um, there's no real internal engine detail on it. Just the main fan. Inside, inside the intakes you can see I'll take a picture of that because you can't see it right now through the, on the video uh, normally on warbirds the World War II warbirds I, uh, I always model them clean with nothing hanging but when I do my jets I load them up for as much as they can carry or what the kit provides um, so in the case of here, we've got a couple of sidewinders on it. We've got our extended fuel tank. We've got some uh, gravity bombs, and then uh, we've got the gun pod, gun pod mounted underneath. I modeled it with the uh, didn't put the pilot in. Model with the canopy open so that you can see inside the cockpit. Spent a little bit of time detailing that out. Again, it shows up better in the stills than it does in the video. So we'll uh, check the video out. The stills at the end for that. The uh, <coughs> horizontal stabilizers are positionable. And you can position the... Uh, exhaust jets on it if you want it I just glued mine in place so again some of the body detail gun pod landing gear air brake the front lift fence we uh Did this in the marine camo European theater. Uh, let me crank you guys up so you can see it a little better. Actually, when I did it, though, I used uh, my Vallejo Model Air colors for the uh, RLM because that's what I had handy. So it's actually a gray green and uh, a gray violet are the actual colors that I used. And then I used the blue gray for the underside. And we sealed it with. Uh, 
uh, gauzy shiny enhancer before we did the decals. Then dull coated the whole thing for weathering. I did a little bit of a little bit of chipping and weathering, but not a whole lot. I want to make it fairly clean. So there's a little bit of chipping along the edges of the wings and whatnot. See if I can zoom in and show you that. Yeah, so there's a little bit there. But not a whole lot. And we'll lock her down here. I'll see if I can get you into the cockpit a little better. While we're here. There's the seat. I just painted on the uh, belt. I just painted on. Yeah, so I hooked up on the missiles here. See if I can get into the. Uh, that's too dark. But I hand painted up all the controls in there because it doesn't come with decals for it. Um, let's see if I get get some light in there. There you go. See it a little bit. There we go. So it shows up a lot better in the still picks, but that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to this kit. Um, it's been out of production for a long time. I can't remember the last time I saw it. I saw it new in the in the hobby shops. But you can find them on eBay for not a whole lot. So that's uh pretty much it say I'll do some fly a slideshow at the end of the video. And uh, we're moving on to our our next project, and hope to have a update on the B58 Hustler in a day or two. Right now, the, the weather is just not cooperating. It's been very warm and very humid the last week, and then this morning it was 70 degrees. This morning at like seven o'clock, and right now we're getting ice out here so the weather has just not been the best for painting so we get the B58 painted as soon as possible um, anybody's interested uh, have the video up soon on the Daedalus it's completed and the next build is going to be a Hasegawa B47D Thunderbolt in 132nd scale and then uh, who knows what's next right now there's no other really group builds out there that have my eyes so I'm just going to build build what I want to build for a while and unless uh, another group build that said piques my interest pops up then we'll jump in on it but I'm waffling guys enjoy the slideshow thanks Martin I enjoyed the build on the on the Harrier and participating in the group build and uh We'll see you on the funny, on the funny papers. See ya.